morning guys don't i look like a lunch lady with my little hair net on <laughs> but anyways i'm about to make some french toast which i'm really excited about i don't have it often so it's like a little treat for me and with that i'm gonna also be making well i'm gonna try my hand at a sweet potato hash i've never made this so this is like an experiment hopefully it turns out good if not i'll just have my french toast all right so i have the sweet potato here that i've already peeled So now what I'm gonna do is sprinkle in some salt, pepper, and onion powder. Give that a mix. Then I'm gonna pop this into the air fryer. I'm gonna use some of this avocado oil spray, just give it a light mist, and hopefully that'll help it to crisp up really nicely. At least that's my thought process. Like that. Let's say 350, eight minutes for now, and then we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and make my French toast, which is super easy to make. I have the exact recipe in my cookbook, which by the way, is now back in stock. I have hard covers available. So for those of you that were wondering when the hard covers were gonna restock, they are here. I'll put the link to purchase the books below in the description box. For my bread, I'm using sourdough. I really love using sourdough for French toast. I just feel like it's the perfect texture for it. I'm only using one piece. I'm gonna slice it in half. Dip it in both sides. Add some of this vegan butter to my pan. Then fry up my bread and that'll be it. Definitely should have been keeping an eye on these because eight minutes was way too long. They started getting burnt around the edges. So I'm just gonna eat the middle part. Seems like it should be fine. <laughs> Put some bananas on there, cranberries, shredded coconut. Use some of this organic unsweetened ketchup here. And then I'm using syrup to top off my French toast. All right, taste test time. Let's check out these potatoes. I got a little bit of the crunchy texture, but the rest is kind of mushy. I'm still gonna eat them though. I think next time I'll just stick to what I know and cut them up into like small cubes but the taste is good. It's just the texture. It's not what I was going for. My French toast is extra tasty today. So I gotta head out real quick. I'm gonna go do some stuff and I'm gonna grab an easy snack for on the go that I've been eating a lot lately. Let me show you guys what it is. So I have these, the brand is Ocean's Halo. These are sea salt seaweed snacks. I have been like obsessed with these lately. I like eating them because I can snack on them and not feel guilty because the whole pack is only 20 calories, only 60 milligrams of sodium. So I'm gonna take these with me. Let me just go ahead and grab one while I'm here with y'all. Only thing with these is that I always have to make sure to floss afterwards because the seaweed like gets in my teeth kind of gnarly, but I'm just saying. For my lunch, I'm making some taco wraps and I'm gonna be using these walnuts to make like a taco meat. Just put those into a pot, cover with water and boil them. And I'm gonna boil these for about 30 minutes so they can soften up. Then I'm gonna drain them, put them in the food processor so they can be broken down. Turns out looking like this. Transfer it over to my pan, heat it up. I'm gonna season it with some taco seasoning mix and a little bit of soy sauce. Also gonna put in a smidge of this black bean and corn salsa. That's it. Using this butter lettuce, it just works really well for my taco wraps. So I just pulled off some really big leaves from the bunch. Put the walnut meat in the middle. Gonna to top it with some more of this salsa. And I was gonna put avocado on there, but my avocado is not ripe yet. So, no avocado today. But I'm going to also top it with this vegan ranch and a little hot sauce because why not? Do, 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 do. So that is lunch and I'm also having some tea with it. My favorite passion tea. Y'all know I love this stuff and I don't have any sugar in it. So it's just a tea bag and some water in here and I love just drinking it straight like that. And with these, you really don't even miss like the traditional tortilla because they taste Super good, just like this. Mm. For dinner tonight, I'm making some fried mushrooms and some sides to go with it, but the mushrooms are the main. It's kind of like my vegan version of chicken. I made these before on my channel, but I think I've only showed you guys using portobello caps. But today I'm using these and I'm gonna show you my cheat method for getting some really good fried up mushrooms. So these are gonna be like little poppers cut off. Most of the stem, depending on how big these are, I'll either cut them straight down the middle in half. If it's a really big one, like this is kind of big, cut it 
and fours. Then of course, we wanna wash them really good. And then for my cheat method, a lot of times when I make my fried mushrooms, I make the batter by scratch. But sometimes when I just don't feel like getting out all the ingredients, I'll use a chicken fried batter like this. And then add some water. And you wanna kinda just add a little at a time because you want the batter to be on the thicker side. Right, that's thick enough. Then throw in the mushrooms. And once they are coated really nicely, then all you have to do is fry them up. My dinner plate to go along with my fried mushrooms, I have vegan mac and cheese. I've made this so many times on this channel, but if you guys haven't seen it, I will link one of my tutorials below. Tonight though, I use these gluten-free organic shells. As for my Brussels sprouts, I used fresh, and all I did was cut them in half. I poured the tiniest bit of avocado oil on them, and then I put salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder, tossed it, put it in the air fryer, that's how it came out. I'm gonna use this golden barbecue sauce. I'm gonna drizzle some of that on. And then I really like mustard on my Brussels sprout, so I'm gonna put some of that on there. I have made meat eaters, believers with my mushrooms. I always get requests from like my meat eating family members all the time. They love these so much. And this golden barbecue sauce hit it off so good. Here's my breakfast. Y'all know how much I love this scramble. And I always make enough for another serving, so I'm gonna pack this up. I brought a snack pack with me, so I have something to munch on while I'm out and about. I have my seaweed snacks and I also brought a couple of my energy balls you guys have seen me make these a bunch but I made these with dates I put pumpkin seeds peanut butter and shredded coconut put them in my food processor blended it all up and shaped them into balls so this is what I'm having this actually might end up being my lunch because I don't think I'm gonna get back home until it's almost dinner time so that's it sweet and salty such a good combination and I brought my floss. <laughs> I have this leftover walnut meat from yesterday that I'm gonna pretty much turn this into like a stew. Add some black beans, corn. This is frozen, but it'll cook down. Got this organic vegetable broth and organic pasta sauce. And vegetable broth to thin it out. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the stove. 10 minutes on medium heat. Okay, so now I'm gonna add cumin. Italian seasoning, tiny bit of Himalayan salt, pepper, and we're gonna add in some A1 sauce. That'll really deepen the flavor. Turn the heat down to low. I'm gonna cover this and let it simmer for another 10 minutes and then it should be all done. So I just put some avocado on top. Got some crackers here. Bada bing, bada boom. I like my batter pretty thick, so the pancakes come out nice and fluffy. Got some of my chickpea scramble with my pancakes today. I'm also gonna add some strawberries on here and the maple syrup. To drink, I'm having some chamomile tea. I'm not having any uh, sweetener with it. For lunch today, I'm making a really easy stir fry. So right here I have broccoli and carrots that I chopped up, washed. I'm going to steam these. So I got my water in my pan. I'm gonna put in my little steamer basket. Cover it. And I'm also gonna add tofu to kind of make it more hearty. And I'm gonna toss this with some avocado oil. Just a little drizzle. Pepper, some salt. Give that a gentle toss. 
With this, I'm going to put it in the air fryer to crisp it up. This actually only took 12 minutes in the air fryer at 390 degrees. I'm gonna be using this sauce. I'm gonna put some sesame seeds on top. The only thing else I'm gonna add is some crushed red pepper. And that's my lunch. It's delicious. I have a little sweet tooth and so I'm gonna make a little snack. I'm gonna make something I've never made before but I feel like this is gonna turn out so bomb like the vision that I have. I'm really confident about it so I'm super excited. So I'm gonna make some grilled peaches but I'm gonna put them in the air fryer. Got my fresh peach here. I just cut it up off of the pit into the air fryer. I lined it with parchment paper. I'm gonna put these in at 350 for about five minutes and then I'm gonna flip them. Now I'm gonna flip them right side up and top them with the vegan butter and brown sugar mixture. I'm gonna put these back in for another five minutes. This time I'm gonna do 375 degrees. <gasps> Look at those, don't they look absolutely yummy? You can use like a vegan ice cream, that would be really good on this, I bet, but I don't have any, so I'm just taking the cheat road right now and using the coconut milk, hopefully it's good. Some of that right on top. And then I'm gonna use this sprouted vanilla chia granola, put some of that on there as well. Let's give it a taste test. Mmm. Mmm. Just like I thought, we got a winner. Now the coconut cream wasn't the best idea, I will admit. Next time I'll definitely use a vegan ice cream. It doesn't take away from the flavor, it's just not giving the texture that I wanted because it just all melted. But this is still super, super delicious. Pretty basic breakfast this morning. I'm using this granola and making some cereal with it. Sliced banana. Some cranberries. Shredded coconut. Then I got some almond milk. So I have some of this um, chickpea scramble still left over. I'm about to attempt to repurpose this because it has to get eaten and I don't want it in a scramble um, anymore. I'm gonna try to turn this into chickpea salad so I can make it a sandwich. So I think it should work. I think it should be fine. I'm gonna add some vegan mayonnaise to kind of bind it together. Mustard. Some dill relish. Mix it all together. Let me give it a taste. Mmm. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is so good, y'all. I'm using sourdough. Usually I would use um, wheat bread for my sandwich, but I don't have any, so I'm gonna go with what I got. Put my lettuce on there, add my chickpea mixture. Then I'm also gonna have a little bit of this tomato basil soup on the side. Straight out of the carton, it was kind of bland, so I had to spice it up a little bit. But yeah, this is what I'm having, you guys. Good golly, Miss Molly. Slamming. Only thing is, I really wish I had wheat bread because the sourdough, it's a little too thick and crusty, but I mean, it'll do. It's very tasty though. For dinner tonight, I'm making black bean burgers. These are homemade. I've made these before on my channel so many times, but if you haven't seen it and you wanna know how I make it, um, I'll link one of my videos below. With my burger, I'm gonna have sweet potato fries. I drizzle on some avocado oil, sprinkle on salt and pepper, put it into the air fryer to crisp up. Gonna make an avocado mash to go on top, so I have avocado, diced red onion. Also gonna use some sun-dried tomatoes, but I'm gonna chop these up real quick. And then just mix all of this together. And some mustard. Some 
So this morning I'm gonna make a hummus quesadilla for breakfast. I have flour tortillas here. I'm gonna be using this roasted red pepper hummus. Spread the hummus on. I like to leave just a little bit of space around the edges. Fresh spinach. Also gonna to top with sliced mushroom, red onion. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle on some nutritional yeast, some garlic salt, and a little pepper. Put the other piece on top. Got my pan heating up, just gonna spray it with a little of this avocado oil spray. Then go ahead and put my quesadilla in there. As it cooks, just take another pan, a clean one, and smash it down. Then flip it and do it again. Also gonna make a smoothie, so I have some fresh pineapple that I chopped up. Gonna throw in some blueberries, some goji berries, a scoop of wheatgrass. Gonna go with coconut water for the liquid. This is my lunch. Popcorn I just made on the stove. I put some nutritional yeast and salt on it and my energy balls. Oh, I also have, forgot. I have, um, also have a passion tea. Unsweetened, of course. So this is all I'm having right now. I'm really not that hungry. So I basically just made a snack. Got some takeout for dinner. <laughs> so I got some vegan ramen so this is what it looks like green onions good stuff in there I'm gonna put that into my noodle bowl here i suck with chopsticks i'm like i don't know how to hold them for real i probably should watch a tutorial but i still like to use them because it makes me feel like sophisticated you know Hey guys, happy Saturday. So um, this morning I'm making hummus avocado toast. I have my toasted sourdough bread here. I'm gonna take the same hummus, slather that on. Got my avocado. Oh, it's nice and ripe too. Like it's the perfect consistency. And I'll just pile that on. Dice up a shallot. Also gonna take some of these sun-dried tomatoes and chop them up as well. Gonna put some of those shallots on there. Gonna put those sun-dried tomatoes on. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle this with some crushed red pepper flakes and a little salt and pepper. Pretty simple. Also gonna make a chai latte. So I just take my tea bag, put it in the cup. About a teaspoon of Sugar to that, pour in some hot water, leaving a little space at the top. Give it a blend. Then I take some vanilla almond milk, then use my frother to whip it. Then pour the milk on top. Just a little dash of cinnamon on it. And that's how I make my lattes. Just having the rest of my ramen. Pour this in and microwave it for about two minutes. I think it tastes even better the next day. Granola cereal again for breakfast. And today I'm using this cranberry nuts one with cranberries, almonds, and pecans. I'm gonna add some banana to this and some shredded coconut. Tastes pretty good. I think I like the other granola better though. Okay, so I'm making my blackened tofu Caesar wraps. I have the recipe in my cookbook. And this is gonna be kind of like a shortcut version of the official recipe. But I just have some tofu here. This is extra firm and I've pressed it so all the extra water is out of it. I'm gonna slice it so that it is 
in cubes. I'm gonna use this whole thing up. Now that we have it like that, I'm gonna transfer these over to a bowl. A drizzle of avocado oil. Also gonna squeeze in some mustard. Give this a toss. You wanna kind of be gentle with this because they can break apart. Looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna add smoked paprika. Got some cumin, got some thyme. And then I got some salt, pepper. You wanna give that a mix. All right, looks pretty good. Pop these in the air fryer. I'm gonna put this on 400 degrees. While it's cooking, I'm gonna take it out periodically and shake it so that all sides get crisped. Got my tortillas. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill them with the blackened tofu. Also gonna add some lettuce. Put on some sliced avocado. Then I'm going to sprinkle on some of these. They're like bacon bits. They're actually made out of shredded coconut. I made them while the tofu was in the air fryer. I also poured on some of my vegan ranch on top. I really do wish I had some tomatoes though because it certainly brings it all together but you know gotta do what you gotta do. So this is lunch today. All right, so I wanna show you guys something that I discovered a few months ago that I really, really like, and that is this vegan tikka masala Indian simmer sauce. I found it at, um, when I was shopping on Thrive Market, I ordered it, I tried it, I was like, this is the most amazing thing ever, especially because I love Indian food. They also carry this at Sprouts, so sometimes I get it from there as well. It's just a really good thing to use to whip up like a quick meal. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just put a tiny bit of vegetable broth in my pan and I'm gonna add some diced bell pepper and also some diced red onion I'm gonna let that cook for a bit then I'm gonna add some spinach and sweet potato that I cubed and I boiled the sweet potato to soften it beforehand along with chickpeas and then add the sauce and you just want to let this simmer for a little while maybe about 10 minutes and then I like to add some garam masala just to really amplify the Indian flavor Salt, little pepper, there it is. I decided on going with some rice on the side. I just uh, boiled the rice. I actually didn't season it or anything because I'm gonna mix it in. All right guys, so that is basically it. I hope you all enjoyed seeing what I eat in a week. Thanks so much for watching as always and I'll catch up with you on my next one.